What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with the Selesnia Kahira deck. Uh, absolutely loving this one so far. This thing is ridiculous. Um, I don't know if it's just that it's well tooled against like, um, you know, this specific meta because it is best of one. So you're going to see a lot of random stuff. You're also going to see a lot of aggro focused decks that are just trying to win right away. So I don't know if like that's the, the way that, you know, this deck was tooled out just to say, hey, I'm going to be able to beat those decks. And it does. Uh, so I, I, I don't know if that's it or if it's just, you know, a very solid deck. But either way, it feels great right now. Um, if you did not check out the first video, highly, highly recommend you do that. Um, we, we go into more detail about, you know, why we, why we have the cards in here that we do, uh, and that kind of stuff. So you can kind of see like the whole deck list. The, the full thing is linked down below. If you'd like to play it yourself, you can export it there. But, um, just, a just a thought, it would be definitely a good idea to check that out. So, uh, we'll see what the opponent's looking to do here. Um. They are mono red, so no doubt about that. They're just gonna try and beat face as quickly as possible. So we'll just block here. Um, throw you out. I hesitate to throw this out, uh, only because this dies to shock, uh, which is not good for us. So I think what I'm gonna do is mutate this. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is we are a bit more all in now. Uh, which is not necessarily a good thing, but we uh, we do have at least have some efficient blocks. If they decide to attack in, chances are they've got a burn spell. Um, yeah, just my guess. Uh, but we do kind of have to take out this robber. I'm sure they're gonna shock this, and that's you know a two for two trade. Um, worth noting against these mono red decks it's very good to just trade off as much as you can in the beginning in my opinion uh obviously it's going to depend on your deck so obviously keep that in mind but um that is what i've found to have worked the best put questing beast out thankfully this is one that we can swing in with and still get uh, a blocker out of it which is pretty great um, next turn, I'm not sure what we end up doing. Probably just boosting up, uh, with Kahira. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Um, if they've got another Rimrock Knight, this, that won't kill us. Um, and we get a, you know, a, um, a creature off the field, which is important. Uh, the one thing we do have to be very cognizant of is just... Uh, the the fact that they probably have an Ember Cleave at some point here. Ah, don't love that. Um, hmm. I kind of want to do this. Let's do this. This just makes it harder for them. So we can now just kill the Bone Crusher if we'd like, but it also just makes it harder for them to burn anything out. I think that that's the right thing to do. We'll see. They've got to have Ember Cleave, right? Um, hmm. I assume they... Oh, they don't. I definitely thought they had Ember Cleave. 100% <laughs> thought they had Ember Cleave. Um... Woo, gaining that life. Uh, let's throw this out there. Let's throw this out there. And we will swing in. I love Questing Beast. It's just such a f strong, strong card to be able to say, like, hey, I'm going to keep attacking you, but I get to leave up a blocker as well. That's just so good. Um, we do have to be very cognizant. These can be unblockable. Um, if they want to trade this off, that's fine. If they've got a way to. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, let's play Watley. Let's gain some life. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. 
game one. We got there. Uh, this deck is great in this best of one right now. I'll be honest. I'm loving this. Um, let's go ahead and jump into game two. All right. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh, this is not a good hand. Um, this we're gonna throw back. As as great as the four lands are, <laughs> that's a whole lot of nothing to play. Uh, this is much better. Uh, we can ditch one of these lands, I believe, and be okay. So let's do that. We get to start off with a grazer, which is good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, we'll just throw this out. Even better, we, we have the Great Horn next turn. So that's going to be pretty good for us. Is this like a Gruul aggro list, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, let's throw you there. Throw you over. Um, we'll get that third green again. That third green is really important with Vivian here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll attack. Chances are they're going to, like, try and just swing in a lot this turn, though, so that's a little bit worrying. Yeah, there we go. Don't like that, but not much we can do. Um, we would not have blocked that anyway, to be very fair. Huh. We're going to have to play a bit of a long game here. Um, what I mean by that is we're going to have to take a bit of a hit, but... We're not going to attack. We could have there uh, and offered them the trade, but I don't feel great about it. Maybe that was a mistake, though. Chances are it was. Um, yeah, there we go. This Gruul deck is mean, mean, mean. Uh, we played this on Sunday, I think. Um, it was a really good deck. No, right? I'm gonna try it. Um, that means we should not play that. Uh, hmm. Let's just play the Great Horn or the Gym Razor. Excuse me. Out. I don't know if this is right because they can probably just kill this. In which case, I mean, I think we're on a losing position right now anyway. But uh, we'll see. Not gonna block. All right. So we can mutate onto this if we wanted to, or we can play Vivian and pump this up. I kind of think Vivian's a better option here. I have survived Nico Olas, and I will survive you. We could have also killed that. Maybe that was a better play. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. Um, this does give us a block, at the very least, but I kind of forces us into blocking the questing beast. Oh, well, okay. We just lose then. Well done, opponent. Um, unfortunately, we had a bit of a bad hand there, too, but uh, they, they played phenomenally, so well done, opponent. Um, let's go ahead and jump into game two. That was our first loss with this deck, though, I will say. Um, that's pretty good. I... I kind of underestimated this deck. I was like, ah, oh, it's just a, you know, good stuff deck. But it's pretty solid. I'm liking it. Excuse me. All right. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> um, weirdly, I'm going to try it. This is probably incorrect. Uh, double up on Ho Hoatli is not good um, by any means. But it does keep us alive. So does the Grazer. Ooh, sorry. Shaking the camera. Uh, we're against a fellow Kohira player. Let's jump this out there. And we'll get Temple Garden down. That's good for us. Solely because that means they don't have a turn one play. Ugh. Double unbreakable, huh? Um, let's go ahead and get Kohira, Kohira out and swing in. Next turn, we'll see what we draw. Um, 
might just be a Watley. They're running a different list. How cool. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh, let's do this first. With the open mana, they may decide not to block. It looks like that's not the case. That's okay. We'll just play Hwatli here. Uh, now that I think about it, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, cause, uh, not cause, because, uh, this would have done more damage is essentially what that would have meant, but that's okay. Uh, next turn we can unbreakable formation if we don't draw a land, uh, power everything up and then swing in and then we're actually in pretty good shape. Um, that kind of changes things. Let's put Vivian out there. Do this. Let's just submit that, I believe. My, my. How you Gain know. some life, uh, and we'll swing in here. It's a pretty big hit. Um, this is going to be a pretty big turn, though. My assumption is they're going to go after Vivian. Ah, they're mutating on. That's pretty good. Mutating Cub Warden on Cub Warden. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Oh, they did not. Um, okay. Hmm. So, how do we want to do this? We can pump everything up with this, uh, and then we can kind of pump up again. I think we're going to do that. Pump up here only, I think. That just means we can swing in with both efficiently um, to be able to kill whatever they block with. But they do have to block. Um, and they both have... Do they both have Trample now? No, but this does. Um, so they're going to lose all their tokens. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that felt like a pretty strong turn. We also can, like, pull something from our sideboard with Vivian if we feel like it next turn. Um, I kind of don't think we actually need to. Uh, we can just kind of give both guys trample and go for it, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Cub Warden is such a good card. If you've not played with Cub Warden yet, holy crap, are you missing out? That card is ridiculous. Um, land is kind of nice. Uh, let's do this. Let's give both of these guys trample. Um, and a counter. Let's buff them up again. Uh, I did not do the math. My assumption is they can still, yeah, they can definitely get out of this still, but they have to block like a lot. <laughs> um, and all of our stuff is indestructible. So like, you're first for sure. All right. Feeling okay. Uh, kind of wish we would be able to leave up an unbreakable on our opponent's turn. Um, I don't know if this deck is running Shatter, but ours does, so I have to be cognizant of that. Um, <laughs> but, you know. That's cool. Um, we can Vivian and kill it. <laughs> uh, let's just do you and you. Uh, did we just win? Yeah. Cool. Game two. We got it. Love it, love it. Let's do our last game with this deck, guys. Um, man, super, super impressed with this list. Genuinely, I I just kind of thought this would be like, a, yeah, it's okay. Not amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but holy crap, has it turned out to be fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
Oh, let's see. Yeah, we can keep this. Um, it's not great because we can't turn one grazer. But, you know, it's been worse. Uh, we do get... Yeah, we'll probably just template plenty, try and get a land. So we get up to that crucial four mana. Um, let's do it. Um, that does help us get there. Yeah, I think we can keep. Um, that may be incorrect. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what we're up against here, too. Azorius, maybe? Um, play out the planes. Play this guy out. Play out the sands. Gain a life. And next turn, depending on what we draw, we will either Great Horn or Cub Warden. Uh, if we get an untapped land, we'll just Cub Warden, most likely. Yep. Oops. There we go. And let's drop that on there. They may have a quench or something like that. It's very possible. Oh, essence scatter. Well, that's better than a quench. Yep, yep. I haven't seen much of just like straight Azorius control uh, recently, I will say. Um, seen a couple of lists floating around. Uh, I, I mean, it's been a solid deck, so I understand um, why it's a popular one, but I, I just haven't seen it as much. It was very popular for quite a while uh, when it won, was it Worlds or something? PV, I think, won it. Good to know they're not countering this. <laughs> we'll get another land out. Excuse me. Um, and we could gem razor this uh, if we wanted to. We don't really have to, but we could. Uh, we can actually... So we could double up and do like this and this if we do it right. Um, we'll get green. We've got all the white we could ever need. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack here. See what they do. Please don't shatter. I would feel real bad if you shattered. Oh, that's fine. Don't care about that. Uh, we can actually blow that up. Maybe that's a better thing to blow up. All the land. Um, let's do this. Let's go over. So, we get to blow this up and we get a land. That feels very good, I will say that. Um, we can actually do it again, but I'm not going to. That seems kind of silly. Let's do this, and let's do this. Now I'm really expecting a shatter. Like, there's a very high chance they shatter. Um, but it's kind of okay. We've Yeah, there we go. We draw a card, plus we have um, a lot of the land out of our deck, which is kind of nice. Um, let's drop you. No land. That's okay. Uh, let's drop you. We'll blow up this omen. Uh, and we'll pass. And now we do have the unbreakable formation, at least, to, to kind of counter a, um, a shatter if we need to. That does not counter a shatter, unfortunately. Or counter a banishing light. Looks like Azoria is still going strong, guys. Um, well, you're a creature, but we're going to play you. Let's go, let's go. Alright. See what they gotta do. Um, they're getting to Dream Trawler mana, right? They actually have it now, so my hope is they just don't have a Dream Trawler. That's a bit annoying, uh, if I'm honest. Almost rather than just have the Dream Trawler, that way they just kinda win. All right, see what we draw. We are very subject to the top of our deck. Um, good thing most of it is a creature, so, or most of them are creatures. Counter, absorb. <laughs> it's 
see what they do. My hope is they just don't have another banishing light. Like if they want to shatter, that's fine. We'll just unbreakable formation. That's annoying, but not like the worst thing in the world. They definitely are just going to bounce it and that's cool, but We are pretty much going to have to leave up Unbreakable Formation, I think, uh, no matter what. I wish we could mutate this so we could spread out some damage, but that's okay. Absorb. Ah, Thirst. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Is that Devin's Veto? Yeah, and a Neutralize. Okay. So they've had Neutralize in hand? Alright. We'll see what they do. If they just keep bouncing it, I'm going to get kind of annoyed, but that's okay. Kind of surprised they didn't crack the Fable Passage first. Like, on the end of our turn, just a deck thin. But... That's okay. May not have mattered. Or they may feel like they need another land. There are a million reasons to not do that. Here we go. Narset. Narset really doesn't bother me too much. The fact that they pull out something from their deck is annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Ugh. Well, that gets around it. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. Vivian, huh? Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. The only good thing about Vivian, <clears throat> I will say, um, if they don't have another way to deal with Vivian, like another Elspeth Conquer's death, it does mean we can pull something out from our sideboard if we would like. Um, and we may just try and do that right away, uh, despite we we're not gonna really want to lose the Vivian, but I don't think we can lose a turn on um shatter huh that's actually okay um i don't think we can lose a turn on um not cracking her now yeah yeah please don't kill vivian please don't kill vivian the other bad thing is teferi's just at three now um, yeah, let's crack this now. <coughs> See what we can get. I don't really know what we can get that's super good, but we're going to try something. Um, Cavalier is not bad. Nyx Bloom Agent is silly, but not good. Um, I think we just take this. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. What's in their graveyard that they're going to get to pull back? So the problem here is we kind of have to give them, or we kind of have to blow up the Elspeth Conqueror's death, because if we blow up Teferi, it just doesn't matter. Uh, the other option, I guess, is to blow up one of these. What's under each of these? Uh, Grazer and everything. Let's try blowing up this. I kind of don't care about... I mean, Delsmith Conquer's Death is going to get cracked this upcoming turn. And that sucks, but there's nothing for them to bring back. So it kind of just doesn't matter. Um, we do have up our, our mana up for this. They can bounce a thing, but now we are much, much better off at the very least. Um, and we can Unbreakable in response to Shatter. So, we'll see if we can make this work. At least now we've got, you know, threat diversification a little bit. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's something. And they may not even want to bounce the anything with the fairy. Yeah. I think they just want to shatter instant speed. They are really questioning what they want to do. 
That is a terrible draw. Okay. Um, I think we swing both of these guys at Teferi. Wait a second. Could I not? Oh, I'm an idiot. This whole time I've been talking to fairy. I'm an idiot. That is the takeaway. Um, yep. The whole time that wouldn't have worked because of to fairy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unbreakable, uh, being an instant speed makes it very difficult to actually play around to fairy. That being said, um, there was never a good time to play it. They could always have shattered in response. Um, so that was kind of silly, but that's okay. All right, Cavalier, let's go. Chances are we lose this, by the way. They've just got such a good control over the board. There's probably not much we can do, but you know. Got to do the best we can. We're not dead quite yet. If they scry to the top of anything, we probably are dead, but that's okay. Or closer to dead, I should say. It's very incremental. Oh, it's two to the bottom. That's good. Yep. <sighs> a good control list is always a bit frustrating to play against. Truer words have never been spoken. All right. Really? I guess they just don't care. They're just trying to... I mean, that's fine. Man. And here I was like, yeah, we totally thinned out our deck. Um, Let's see what happens, because it's not going to matter anyway. If they shatter in response, they would have shattered anyway. Um, And I think at that point we can just concede, but... If they don't shatter, we might have a chance to kill to or no, not kill to fairy, I'm sorry. They can just block it. Um Yeah, it really doesn't matter. They just put out a token and block it. And we don't have trample. Which is a bit of a problem. Yep. This is why this control deck is so good. Um, granted, if we draw like a Vivian and we can pump it up and give it trample, you know, that's something. Um, I've got it. At some point, they can just bounce the Cavalier too, so there is that. I have to assume they have like a counter in hand though also. This actually is a problematic card for the opponent, so I assume they kind of have to do something about this. Uh, only because it not only spits out a couple things, but um, it gives us life life link. Excuse me. So that just puts us out of reach pretty efficiently of this. Now again, they can bounce stuff, so it's not going to matter what we attack. Wow. All right. I Cavalier. Maybe. I'm just going to go ahead and concede, honestly. They've got... I just feel like they've got so much built up here. They've got their Scry Engine. They've got double Castle Ardenvale. And they've got a Teferi on seven. Like... We can blow up the Teferi, we still have to get through all of this mess, which we can't because they could spit out two up per turn, 
and more top decking. Um, don't worry, I got this. We'll see what happens when we play Cavalier. I don't want to like give it up too soon. I just don't know that we can dig out of this. We will say. Especially if they counter this. If they counter this, I'm done. Yeah, all right. Unfortunately, we didn't get there against Azorius Control, but um, that was a well-fought match on the opponent's side. They they had all the answers, as the Control deck is meant to. So, overall thoughts on this deck. Um, one, I absolutely love it. I think it was really, really good. Oh, and we get to open a pack. Yay. Um, I thought it was much more powerful than I initially anticipated. Um, did not think it was going to be as good as it was, but it, it was phenomenal. Uh, we didn't win every single game, but I think we put up a fight most of the time. Obviously that game, they just kind of controlled us from the beginning, but that's what that deck does. So you got to kind of understand that too. But I think this is a very solid deck. Uh, if you're into like a green, white Celestia style, like just creature focused deck, I think this is a very good option for you. We know it can beat mono red. Um, we know it can beat like Lurus Sacrifice. We tried it up against that. Um, both of those are in either this video or the previous one. Um, and so I, I think that this has a pretty good position, um, in the best of one ladder. Now it's not perfect. It loses to a lot of things like, you know, they sweep the board all the time. Obviously you're going to lose, but, uh, it does have a little bit of built in kind of tech for the ladder right now. Uh, and so I, I do think this is a decent one to try. Um, if you've not played with Kahira, I did not think it was all that exciting, but it, it truly is. It's pretty awesome. Um, giving everything vigilance is great. Making your arboreal grazers one fours with vigilance is great. Uh, so I'm actually into this deck. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will say if you've got any deck suggestions, we have a few, uh, our friend Adam, uh, on Instagram suggested like i don't know how many lists he's given us like near 20 different lists some of which we've played uh and not used like we've already recorded them so we didn't know that you know it's the same list roughly uh that we had already played but some of them are new lists that we're going to be looking into if you guys have a list that you want us to play please share it with us um we're we're more than happy to accept that kind of stuff so that way we can kind of tailor some content to what you guys want to see so Regardless, I do want to thank you very, very much for all of the support lately. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you'll stick around. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. Enter our Akoria giveaway for that free bundle as well. Um, but really, really excited to be recording all these videos and uh, really, really nice to see all the support. So thank you guys so much. I will see you hopefully very soon in the next gameplay video.